Hey guys, uh, just a quick video here. Had a request uh, about the um, the ball preference system and the Y switch assembly. So I'll uh, show you that real fast. Uh, right in here, that's the the Y switch. Uh, as you can see, there's a little a little spring right there. Um, we keep them uh, hooked uh, so that they're on the odd lane, uh, simply because. <clears throat> Sometimes, uh, you see the, the lever right there that stops the ball in the even lane because the odd lane has preference. Um, sometimes with the lighter balls, when they get stopped there, because uh, balls come back on the other side, <clears throat> especially the lighter ones, sometimes they don't have enough oomph to push that Y switch back out of the way, so we keep them hooked to a little spring on that side. I know a lot of centers do that. Uh, the, the Y switch itself, there's not really too much to it. There's just a little stud. Oh, that's the preference bar right there with all the nuts loosened because this one needs to be worked on. It's uh, got some broken parts, so I'll show the actual preference system on another machine. But you can see it pretty much just completes the track for either side and guides the ball into the accelerator. Um, you do have this little frame here with the bumpers. There's the same thing over there. Um, those bumpers do wear out. And sometimes the switch will hang. You can just turn them to where there's a fresh spot to get you by and then replace them. They're not hard to change. Uh, the metal the metal form also bends sometimes, which is a real pain trying to get that straight again. And it'll jam the Y switch up and give you ball calls. Uh, I'll just come over here. Like I said, that preference system needs a little bit of work. Um, the, uh, the odd lane has the preference. Uh, right there is the mechanism that... Uh, locks and unlocks it. If you look over on the even lane here, you can see that little hook and there's a uh, little bearing there that it grabs when it's locked. Uh, as the ball comes up and pushes the lift rods in, that runs all the way there. You have your turnbuckle here. That's where you make your adjustments. But as that comes up, it'll pull that rod in towards you, like that, and now the preference system is locked. So if a ball came up here, you can see that hook now, right there is on, it's grabbing that bearing, so it won't allow a ball to pass. And then once the ball does come up and around, down here it rolls on the track, it'll push that switch down, unlock it, then allow the ball from the other side to come back. All it does is prevent them from meeting up at the Y switch. So uh, that's about all there is to that. I uh, hope that uh, answers your questions. Uh, if there's anything else, as always, let me know. I will uh, get you videos. Any questions, comments, feel free to leave them. I uh, thank you again for all the support for the comments and questions and likes and subscriptions as always uh, you guys are a great bunch They're always very positive and uh, it seems like you enjoy this stuff so very happy to hear that and uh, hopefully more videos to come soon all right guys bye